Hi everybody, Stu, AG6AG. Today we are evaluating the TYT TH9000D. This particular radio is the single band 220 megahertz version. One of very few 220 single band radios available out there. And I have to tell you, it advertises 65 watt output on uh, the high power setting. So that's pretty impressive. Um, we're going to go ahead and see if that's true. Does it actually put out that 65 watts? And we're going to see what its spurious emissions look like. How's its filters? All that good stuff. Um, I have to remind everybody, though, that all the tests that we do are strictly for entertainment purposes only. We neither certify nor fail a radio when in regards to FCC rules and guidelines uh, having to do with the use of this radio. Don't take my word or any single source as a fact when you're evaluating radios for purchase or use. With that, hey, one last thing. Please, if you haven't already, go ahead and subscribe to my channel down below and click on the bell icon to get notified when I release new videos. And if you like my videos, click the like button, will you? Any questions, feel free to make them in the comments. And boy, with all that behind us, let's take a look at the test. All right, well, let's get started on the TYT TH9000D. 220 megahertz radio. So let's take a look at our power here and guess what? VHF should be 65 watts high, 25 watts medium, and 10 watts low. So let's see how this evaluates out for us, okay? I'm going to go ahead and set up. We're going to do the low test first. Let's go ahead and hit low. All right, that's at about 42. That's a little high, you know, for low power, because our low power should be about 40. But, you know, we'll run with that at the moment. Give me a second. I'm going to change the power. All right, let's take it to medium power. We'll go ahead and key it. That's at about 45. Should be about 44. So we're running a little hot, but I'm okay with that at this point. You know, uh, let's run with that and see where we go. Now, let's go ahead and set up for high power. All right, we're ready to go up on high power. Now, according to my notes here, this should be around uh, 48 dB. Yeah, pretty close. You know, it's interesting that the lower powers always seem a little higher than the high power on this, but you know what? I'm good with that. You know, if I'm if I'm looking at that realistically, I think we're good on all three power levels. So, let's jump into spurious emissions here and see what this thing's doing on the harmonics. Let me go ahead and set up for that. Well, okay, we're on high power. We're going to check our harmonics. Here we go. All right, we got a nice stab at that. These numbers look pretty good. I'm going to go ahead and put in the offsets, and we'll see where that leaves us. All right, well, just for fun, I'm going to run this at 10 watts also, see what kind of a difference we have. So there we go at 10 watts. All right, and we're going to plug those numbers in, too, into our spreadsheet. And we'll see how, after our equalization stuff goes, how this all looks. So, for now, let's get the paperwork done. Well, okay. Let's take a look at our numbers here. What do we have? Well, the top section up here, right here, this all is for high power. We tested this at the 65 watt setting. And in order to pass, according to part 97, for VHF greater than 25 watts, it has to be at least 60 dB, the 
Spurious emissions must be at least 60 dB under the fundamental frequency. So, in this case, you know, all of them pass. So, let me get that placed here. We have a yes for the second fundamental, a yes for the third, a yes for the fourth, and a yes for the fifth. Now, we also tested at low power, and it also passes based on the radio's maximum output, but guess what? It also passes under the VHF less than or equal to 25 watts, which is basically less than a 40 watt, uh, or excuse me, less than 40 dB uh, drop or more than 40 dB um, difference. And it has to be a minimum of minus 6 dBm as output on the uh, spurious emissions. So, uh, again, second fundamental pass, third fundamental pass, fourth fundamental pass, fifth fundamental pass. We have a pass here for the radio, but remember, these tests are for entertainment purposes only. We neither pass nor fail any of this, these radios that we test. We are but one opinion out there. We encourage you to get many opinions before you purchase or use any radio shown in these videos. Ah, well with that. All right, so let's go ahead and talk a little bit more about the tests and stuff like that in the tail end part of the video. Well, radio looks pretty good to me. Uh, I'd certainly use it and do. Uh, so I'm going to give it a big thumbs up. And uh, I'm going to research more into those TYTs. Matter of fact, we're probably going to run a test on a uh, four-band TYT in the near future. Uh, that said, um, I will tell you that we ran into some interesting issues testing this radio. Um, and I'm trying to determine if there's an issue with uh, the radio not being properly shielded or just something else going on because it turned out that we were getting fails on this radio due to proximity to the test equipment. So we'll touch on that maybe in a... Uh, uh, standalone video just to talk about it but for now there you go hope you enjoyed the video if uh, you liked it of course click like uh and uh don't forget to subscribe and uh, you know all the stories right there this is Stu ag6ag saying 73 and hope to hear you on the air